Hey, what's up everyone? Monado Max here, back with another video. We're late on videos, normally every Tuesday. But in fairness, I had two videos last week, so I think this makes up for it. Today's a little bit of a different video. Uh, we, oh man, my hair does not look that, I need to get a haircut, I'm sorry. Um, today's video is going to be my Nintendo Switch game collection. So we have, I mean, it's a small collection. It, it's 50 plus games compared to other YouTubers out there. I know most YouTubers, they start doing their whole game collection stuff uh, when they get at least like over 100. Uh, Beat 'em Up seems like he has like the biggest Nintendo collection out of everyone. But I think Keemstar has a bigger Nintendo Switch collection because he's been trying to collect all the Switch games. I don't know. That's kind of off topic, but... We got 50 plus games. I got my stacks right here. I'm going to be grabbing them. So, like, if you see me out of the camera, I'm grabbing the Switch games. All right, we're going to start. I got the first stack. We got four stacks. I don't know how many is in each stack. Um, yeah, I have no order. I'll be talking about sometimes the games, if I like them, if I hate them. I don't know. Uh, let's start off. All right, first off, Mario Odyssey. That's a Switch game, pretty much. I bet everyone, mostly, who owns the Switch has this. It's a very good Mario game. Uh, I've beat it. I need to 100% it, because I think it looks like a very fun game to 100%. Uh, but yeah, if you don't have it, recommend. L.A. Noir. I think I did it right. That, I think I said it right. Oh my gosh, yes, let's get it. Um, This, I think, for a Switch title, I think it's pretty good. Uh, from a third-party company. I don't know if it was Rockstar. I know it's a Rockstar game, but I don't know if them they themselves developed it so um is someone mowing outside oh man i hope that does not come through the mic i am so sorry if you hear that but anyways this is a solid switch game um it's a good game bad ending i'll just say that and then we got okay in fairness i <laughs> i'm gonna get so much dislike for this I think this is an actually pretty good game. Well, I mean, not pretty good. It's mediocre at best. I don't think it's as bad as everyone makes this game out to be. Um, it is pretty short. I beat it in, like, less than two hours. Uh, I would recommend it. It goes on sale for, like, ten bucks a lot. I think for ten bucks, it's well worth it. Fire Emblem Warriors. I haven't beaten this game yet. I'm pretty close to beating it. Um, if you were a fan of, uh, I don't know, I'm assuming Dynasty Warriors is a pretty similar style in terms of how the leveling and all that. Uh, if you like Tiger Warriors, I think you would like this. It was a little bit of a different feel, though. I don't know how to explain. Maybe it was just, uh, it can't have been the characters. I I can't explain. Like, I feel like Tiger Warriors is better. So. And that's on the Switch. You should buy that instead of Fire Emblem Warriors. All right, this game. Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. I'm gonna call someone out. I'm calling out Soy Pick. Soy Pick doesn't want to play this amazing game because of rabbits. Soy Pick, I hope you're watching this video. You need to get up, get rid of your hatred towards the rabbits. They're annoying characters, but this game is worth it to play. If you hate rabbits, it doesn't matter. This game is such a good game. So many people will say it's a good game. Um, I recommend this. This game goes on sale all the freaking time for like $15. If you don't own this on your Switch, I would consider this a must-have on your Switch. It is really good. Ah, the first Switch game for a uh, launch title, at least. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, this, from what I played, I'm, I think, 15 hours in. I did the first Divine Beasts, and then I went to try to get to the next one, and then I got stuck. It was a good game from what I oh, that glare. Um, from what I played, it was really good though. I would recommend it. Uh, I mean, it goes. It, it looks like this game's gonna start going on sale more. I know it's still at sixty, but on Black Friday we saw it for thirty. So um, the value is still there for sixty dollars. It's worth it. Uh, Pokin Tournament Deluxe. Uh, I don't know if I would recommend this game. I mean, it's good for what it is, but like. I didn't enjoy it. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, it's got a good roster of Pokemon. It's not the Pokemon, you know. Uh, 
and the, right now the game is still I think 60 bucks and it's not worth 60 bucks I'm just gonna be real with it the game's value did not last for 60 when it came out Xenoblade Chronicles 2 now uh, I like this game from what I played I've not beaten it I'm gonna be honest as um, Xenoblade but not Max <laughs> haven't beat Xenoblade um, what I played of it it's a good game the battle system I, I preferred the Xenoblade Chronicles 1 battle system. I'm stuck at this stupid part where, uh, I'm, I'm not going to go into detail of it, but I think it's worth it. Um, I, I've seen this game on Black Friday go for $30, and I think it's worth it for $30. Um, but actually, with the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, I would totally get that instead of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. That would be a 100% way better game than uh, Xenoblade 2. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. People are probably going to be mad that I bought this game. Um, obviously, if you owned it on the Wii U, you don't really need this game. There's, there's The value's not there. Uh, but this, for me, is a good game to have for like when friends are coming over. Uh, I've been able to play this game a lot when I'm with friends, and it's just a good party game. I, I guess you would call it a party game. I don't, I don't know. It's a good multiplayer game. That's a better way of saying it. So, if you're looking for multiplayer games... I think this uh, fits it. So yeah. Okay. Ultimate Alliance 3. I'll recommend this game, but I'm kind of biased towards this game. Um, in case you don't know, I've, I've said it a couple times in a couple videos. Uh, Ultimate Alliance on the PS2 was the, one of the first games. It was the first game I bought. It wasn't the first game I ever played, but it was the first game I bought with my own money. Um, and that game was so special to me uh, just because Spider-Man... As a kid, that was my favorite thing of all time, and it got me closer to like knowing more of the Marvel characters, like Blade, Fantastic Four, Iron Man, Wolverine, and um, this game's roster has just this great roster. Um, I really like this game, uh, especially for it to come back. It, it was mind blowing. I, I need to stop talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, a uh, game <laughs> I've not beaten. Um, I'm, after I'm done with Persona 5, that's what I've been doing all, all week is Persona 5. I'm going to move on to this game. I am, I think, five hours in. And with the house that I chose, I think the game's only about like 20 hours. So I'm halfway, or not halfway, I'm a quarter there. So, yeah. Uh, speaking of Fire Emblem Warriors, uh, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition is pre-owned. Don't, don't trash talk on me, okay? Pre-owned games are cool to own. Cool to own. Also, you know, save ten bucks instead of buying new. I'm sorry. Um, this is a solid port, uh, especially if you didn't own uh, the Hyrule Warrior Legends. I think is what it's called on 3DS, which I didn't. Um, if you didn't own that, this is really good because you get all the content from the Wii U version and the 3DS version into one game, and um, the story is great. You get. I don't think they had a new character, just like the 3DS stuff. You get all the DLC. This is a really good definitive edition. I would say it's worth the 60 bucks. I th think it's still 60. Nintendo doesn't really go down on their games. I would say that game is worth 60 bucks. If you haven't played a Hyrule Warriors, Hyrule Warriors yet, I would recommend it. <laughs> Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I touched this game. I I only wanted a uh, okay. So I bought Xenoverse, which you're gonna see later in the stack. Just so we could get this game on the Switch, because they said if the Xenoverse sold well, uh, we would get Fighter Z probably. And uh, I bought Xenoverse. I didn't touch it because I just wanted Fighter Z. And I bought Xenoverse when it was on Black Friday. It was like fifteen bucks on the Switch, so it was fifteen bucks. Paying an extra fifteen bucks to get this game on the Switch was worth it to me. And then I played this game, and then I stopped playing after the first time I played it. So. Uh, <laughs> And, I mean, I'm not a Dragon Ball guy, so I guess I shouldn't have been... I probably shouldn't have bought the game. Because I'm not even a uh, Dragon Ball fan. Or, I wouldn't say I'm not a fan. I just haven't watched it. So, I mean... Hey. Alright. Second stack. Alright. Alright. Here we go. Astral Chain. I bought this uh, on Christmas. And, um... It was when GameStop did their buy two, get two free. So, I'm going to be real. I've been playing other stuff, so I haven't played this yet. Uh, I got it for free because, you know, it was the buy two, get two free. Uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate. 
Uh, I mean, this is one of the best Smash Bros. games. Uh, it, I mean, it literally says in the title, Ultimate. This is the title that I have the most playtime hours on the Switch. I would recommend this for your Switch if you don't own it. Uh, I mean, it's not for everyone, though, so... Okay, sorry, I was just making sure I organized the stacks. Okay, next game, we got The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I stopped playing this game because I got stuck on uh, one of the beginning parts of the game. And then, uh, I'm sure Nintendo fixed this, but when I was playing it, I bought it on launch. I was having some frame rate issues nearing, uh, it was just pretty bad. Well, I mean, it wasn't bad, but for a Nintendo game, it just, I didn't enjoy what I was playing. So, uh, one day I'll give this game a chance. Oh, uh, again, just busy right now. Mortal Kombat 11 for the Switch. This is a really good port for the Switch. Uh, obviously, it doesn't look good on the Switch, but they chose not to look good so they can get this game running at 60 frames per second on the Switch. And um, it's a good game for the Switch. I mean, I didn't think this game would be able to run on the Switch, but the company made it happen. I don't know who did it. It wasn't Panic Button. I don't I think it says on here. But very good company that did that. I don't know who they did. Who made the company, or who did the Switch port, but it was good. Um, if you're a fighting game guy, I think this would be great towards your Switch collection of fighting games. Uh, next game is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, I mean, if you own the Wii U version, I want to say this game's worth 60 bucks to you. Because, I mean, they added some new things, new characters. Did, did they add cups? A new cup? I don't remember if there was a new cup. Um... I wouldn't say it's worth the 60 bucks for if you own it on the Wii U, but I mean, th this is the uh, best-selling Switch game, so everyone owns it, so I mean, if you want to play with online with a friend, uh, it's a game you should, I guess, consider. I mean, it's a good game, it's just, I don't think it's worth 60 Um I'm hoping one day they add new DLC to uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Oh, this game, okay. Super Bomberman R. This is again a very very fun uh, game to have for a party this game is honestly out of all the switch games this is my favorite party switch game that you can have so much rage so much fun out of this game uh, I think this game's like less than 20 now if if you guys are looking for party games this is the perfect party game to have friends come over it, it is so fun Super Bomberman art is totally worth it Rayman Legends uh, this game I is definitely worth it. I think right now it's like probably like 30 bucks, something like that. Um, Rayman Legends is a great game. On Switch, I see it go on sale a lot for like 10 bucks. Like I, I saw it uh, today, or not today, it was a couple weeks ago. It was on the eShop for 10 bucks. Uh, it is worth it. 10 bucks for that game, all the content you're getting, uh, definitely worth it. Alright, next. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. I bought this so I could play with a friend, and then that friend decided not to play with me anymore. So, um, yeah, so every time we, I was like, hey, let's play Monster Hunter. He's always busy. So, calling out you, Trent. Um, uh, I mean, I don't think this game goes on sale very often. Um, I think it's like basically 40, I think it's still 60 bucks. Um, this is probably going to be the only Monster Hunter title we'll get on the Switch. So, I mean, if you're a Monster Hunter guy, I would say it's worth it. But, um, the game is hard for me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm hopefully going to be able to play that with a friend again soon. Diablo 3. I bought this for 12 bucks when uh, Walmart accidentally uh, lowered the price like that. And then it weren't supposed to. And it only came, like, this game's only been out for like a week at the time. Bought it, didn't touch it. <laughs> um, one day. <laughs> one day. Uh, let's go Pikachu. So, I used to be one of those guys that really was not looking forward to this game. Um, it definitely, playing it, it was a lot better, like 20 times better than I thought it was going to be. So, uh, I would recommend it. Uh, especially if you haven't played uh, like Fire Red or just Red or Yellow, all those games, uh, this would be a good game for you to play. Because I mean, Fire Red is a really good Pokemon game, and it's not it's not like Fire Red, but it's in, take, it takes place in the Kanto region. You got the gems and all that, so I mean, I think it's worth it. 
Uh, I would say this game is better than Pokemon Sword, to be honest. And Sword and Shield. Next, okay, Yoshi's Crafted World. This game is garbage. I don't care if people like this game. It That's in your opinion, but I did not like this game. I was like, now nah, I've only played two hours of it, but I, it was so boring. I'm sorry. I, I liked Yoshi's Willy World. But I did not like Crafted World, and I, I don't know how to explain it. The game looks beautiful. It is a beautiful game, but I was not happy with it. Um, I was like on World Two or th uh, it was Three, I think, and I just I every level was boring me, man. It was boring. Oh, Starlink. Okay, this is a game I would recommend. This would be up there as high up priorities because you can get this game for five bucks at Best Buy. Um, with the starter pack and everything that is a steal this game is worth the 60 bucks when it came out um, The PlayStation 4 and Xbox one versions um, They don't have the Star Fox stuff and Star Fox has a very big part in this game surprisingly uh, You can play Star Fox 2 you get Star Fox mission. It, it's worth it I haven't played the new updates, but they added some racing stuff. Th this is worth the five bucks Please pick up this game if you haven't it is such a good game. It runs well on the Switch. It is 30 frames per second, but it's still a very good game to have on your Switch. Uh, Kirby Star Allies. Uh, this was actually my first Kirby game. So, uh, actually, I played Planet Robobot, but I never... Yeah, I just didn't... I don't know. It just... Robobot didn't... I know that's a favorite Kirby game for a lot of people, but, I mean, when I think of Kirby, I don't think of that. When I saw this, this was a Kirby game... I thought um, I was, you know, gonna love, and there was nothing really wrong with it. I just, I guess, other stuff came out, and when I was playing it, I just didn't feel it. Um, this is a game I would have to give another try. Uh, I've, I think it's still sixty bucks. Uh, I don't think it's worth sixty bucks. You can beat the game in like less than four hours. So, um, grabbing another stack. Sorry. Oh, no, I just made a big mess. Okay. Next stack. All right. Super Mario Maker 2. I did a review on this game, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'm not going to talk about it in this video because I'm going to promote my, my Mario Maker 2 review. Go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. It's the best edited video on this channel. Dark Souls Remastered. I uh, did not touch this game. I... Uh, I bought it last last Christmas. I had to pick one free title because I was buying Persona 5 and a couple VR games. And then, I, yeah, I just chose this as the free title. Uh, I, my friend Alan played it on my Switch. Um, I don't remember what he said, honestly. He didn't come back and play it. So I guess that says something about this game if he didn't come back and play it. Super Mario Party. Uh, this... So I'm not a big Mario Party guy. Uh, I didn't play many. I've only played Mario Party 9. And I know that's like the worst one probably. So playing this, I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, I, I wish there was more boards. I thought Nintendo was going to add more boards. Like for free DLC or something. But um, it's a fun game though. With another party game is really good to have on your Switch. I played this with a lot of people. It's worth the 60 bucks to me. I know it's going to always stay for 60 bucks. So, Ring Fit Adventure. Um, this is a really good game, especially for, like, with the coronavirus happening right now, the gyms, you know, if you don't have an inbuilt gym into your house, this would probably be the best next thing. Obviously, it's not going to be the same. It, it's nowhere going to be the same, but it's better than nothing. It's a fun game. It really gets you moving. I'm going to do a video on this one day when I get the Elgato, and uh, I think it's going to be fun. Luigi's Mansion 3. This is a good game. I've not beaten it yet, but uh, from what I played, it is a good game. It's my first Luigi's Mansion game, too, so uh, I would recommend it. I want to do the online stuff. I haven't touched the online, but this is a fun game. Uh, I think it's a good game to have on your Switch, so I would recommend it. Sorry, fixing my hair. Overwatch. Okay. Uh, I'm actually... I own Overwatch on my PS4. I love Overwatch. I know some people are going to be mad for what I'm saying, but I like Overwatch. And buying this on my Switch, there's obviously a difference graphically. 
you don't get a game cartridge when you buy it physically so this is just an empty case um so playing it on my switch i like playing it on my switch you know it's a portable overwatch you can play any wi-fi you know it was good when i go on my trips to miami to the jake paul versus give fight um i think it runs pretty good it's 30 frames it, I think it looks a lot better than I thought it would be when it was coming to the Switch. I would recommend it on the Switch. Uh, it goes on sale a lot, too. I've seen it go for, like, 20 And when you buy the physical, you get the three-month uh, Nintendo Switch online membership. So, I mean, just with that included, it does have its... The value builds up. So, yeah. Pokemon Sword. No, no. <laughs> Sorry, I was... <laughs> I think the game speaks for itself. <laughs> um, it's Pokemon Sword. There's, <laughs> there's nothing much to say about that. <laughs> I'm going to get so many dislikes for that. Spyro. Uh, I didn't touch this one. I'm going to be real. I should have touched this. I bought it for like 15 bucks Black Friday. And I didn't touch it because I bought so many other things on Black Friday. So this is something I'm going to have to play. Um, I'm going to assume it's going to run well, just because, like, the Crash Bandicoot, which we'll get into later, it, it run really good on the Switch, looked good. So, I'm going to assume, because I know they, I'm pretty sure the same company that did that, probably did, that would make sense. Um, they did a good job with the Crash Bandicoot, so I'm sure they did a great job on Spyro. Okay, what's your theory? <laughs> this game is a great game on the Switch. It does have some frame rate issues sometimes. Um, and like certain cutscenes, but overall, it runs good. But it looks awful. <laughs> it looks so bad on the Switch. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I don't. I the lowest I've seen this game be is at forty dollars. Uh, I don't know if this game's gonna go down ever because I know Warner Bros. probably spent a lot of money just trying to get this on the Switch. Uh. For forty dollars for everything you get in this game, you get the DLC and everything. I think it's worth it. Um, but you gotta remember, it it does not look great compared to like buying it on your PC, Xbox, PlayStation. Um, but yeah, uh, I like it, but it definitely doesn't look good. But you gotta remember, you're paying for a portable version, so you you can't be happy with everything. All right, Arms. Okay, this is a great game. Uh, Today, uh, well, if you bought, if you would have bought this like three years ago, it would have been great. I think the game is still great, but the, I mean, the community is still pretty alive for this game. But it's probably best just to wait. They're probably going to be doing an arms too, so uh, I would recommend it. Not at sixty, even though I, I think it's worth sixty. But I don't know if it's. I mean, I don't think for everyone else it'd be worth it for sixty bucks. I had a lot of fun. This is a favorite Switch title. I think there's a lot of value there. Animal Crossing New Horizons. There's a lot of value in this game. I don't really have to say much about this game. To This is an amazing game. Uh, you should buy this one. This is a must own for your Switch, Animal Crossing. Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Okay. So, this game... Uh, I haven't played much of it. Uh, I played it at the airport on my way back and on the way home on the way there uh from what i've played it has a very interesting story but if you're buying it for like the fire emblem aspect i mean it's there but it's not fire emblem if that makes sense um but it has the fire emblem characters i don't know how to explain that to you but uh if you like persona i actually if you like persona this would be perfect for you guys um, this will be the closest thing you probably get to when it comes to Persona 5 on Switch. So yeah, I would recommend that, if you, especially if you're a Persona fan. Okay, Crash Bandicoot, we just talked about this earlier. This is an amazing port. Uh, I was not expecting, uh, this game to, like, look good and run good on the Switch. And, uh, if you don't own this, it goes on sale, again, 20 bucks pretty frequently. I think it's worth it. You get the first three Crash Bandicoot games on a Nintendo system. That's kind of crazy to think. But yeah, I would recommend, especially just playing that on the go, it's pretty cool. Uh, oh no! Oh, please don't drop. Please don't drop. Oh god. 
uh, I'm totally not going to cut all this out. I'm going to let everyone see the pain of switching all the gates. Oh gosh, I almost dropped these again. Uh, okay, this is our last stack. All right. What the crap was that? Okay, doesn't matter. Get back with the video, Max. Splatoon 2. I like this, um, but I'm going to be real. It feels like a port to me of the first Splatoon. I don't think this should be called Splatoon 2. I think, I mean, obviously, the story mode, it makes sense to be called for Splatoon 2, but the overall game just feels like the regular Splatoon, if I'm being honest. Um, but I would put this as a most, most blah, 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 must own uh, Switch title in your collection. I got Mario and Sonic at the 2016 Olympic Games. Or the 20, oh my god, 2020 Tokyo Games. It's sealed still, I have not opened this game. It's pretty hypocritical for me because I always talk about with my friends how I love this, the, or not this game, but the, just the series. I own all the Mario and Sonic Olympic games except the 2016 one on the Wii U and 3DS. Um, and that sucks that I haven't played this yet because I heard this was one of the best in all the series. The 2020 London games are always going to be my favorite on the Wii and 3DS. That was fire game. Um, but one day, we're going to play that. It's got like I'm going to play I think too. If y'all want to play this game, hit me up on Discord. I got a Discord server. Uh, okay, Doom on the Switch. This is one probably out of all the Switch ports I've played, I would say this is the best Switch port. Panic Button made this. Uh, they did a fantastic job. Panic Button does great Switch ports. They did the Rocket League. They did Wolfenstein. They, they've done a lot. They're doing Doom Eternal. This is a very good uh, game to have on your Switch. I would put this on a must-own. It's not for everyone, but... If I was picking Switch games, I would put this on my must-own list. Uh, uh, it does not go on sale a lot. The lowest I've seen this go is 30 bucks, and compared to other platforms, like you could buy Doom on your PS4 for like 10 bucks, and same with probably cheaper than that now. Uh, so I mean, it's it's a pretty expensive game for I guess for an old game now. Uh, but paying for a portable Doom, it is worth it. Uh, the lowest I've seen it go is 30. So, yeah. Wolfenstein, the new Colossus. Uh, I mean, this Panic Button made this, and I would say it doesn't look the greatest. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I mean, neither does Doom, but it still looks good. Uh, this game also wouldn't be for everyone. So, uh, for how much you're paying for this game, I don't think 60 bucks is worth buying this on the Switch. I've never seen it go down in price physically. I know on the eShop, I think I've seen it go down to 40. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I probably should have played the first Wolfenstein, but I bought it this just to support Bethesda coming to the Switch. And uh, I mean, I will one day get back into that game. I'm like, I think like three hours into the story. I just it, maybe it's just not my type of game. I guess Lego Marvel Super Heroes Two. This is an okay game. I think the first one is a lot better though. Uh, I don't know. Maybe because I got the X Men and Fantastic Four in there. You don't have the X Men and Fantastic Four in this. Uh, that's what I would say. I mean, this game goes on sale frequently too. If you want a good Lego game, I mean, it's a good Lego game. It's just the first one's better. Skyrim. <laughs> Uh, this, I mean, for the Switch, this is a good title. Um, compared to other versions, I wouldn't say the Switch is the best version, but, I mean, portable Skyrim. Uh, I've seen it, the lowest I think I've seen it is 30 bucks, So, it's still at 60 and I, I think the value is still there for a Switch title like Skyrim to be on the Switch. Uh, I would recommend it. Uh, I need, I have not beat it. I'm like 10 hours into the story, I think. Um... But it, it's pretty fun. I really like this game. Especially on VR. I bought it on my VR system. Oh my god. Octopath Traveler. This game looks beautiful. I've not... I'm still like pretty in the early stages of uh, this guy's story right here. I already forgot his name. It looks beautiful on the Switch. I think Square has a big hit right here. Uh, it sold well. I think it's coming to... Sorry. I, think, I thought I was about to vomit. Uh, it's coming to PlayStation, so if you don't have a Switch, I don't know why you're watching the, my Switch collection, but if you want to buy it on your PS4, it's going to be on there. I think it's coming to mobile for some reason. 
Uh, Resident Evil Revel. What the crap was that? Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Resident Evil Revelations. Uh, I bought this for twenty and I didn't play it. So one day I'll play it. <laughs> Batman: The Telltale Series. Uh, if you have not played this game, uh, I mean, obviously a Batman game is not for everyone, but this is actually a pretty good Batman game. And I have a feeling this is going to be a rare Switch title physically. So if you don't own this game physically, I would highly, highly, highly recommend you guys go ahead and buy it on the Switch physically. The reason why I say that is because, you know, Telltale Games, it's a company that's coming back, but they're obviously going to be a low-budget company still, especially coming into uh, re rehiring people like this. So, uh... I mean, I don't. I've never seen this game still like on shelves. I don't know if it is actually rare, but I'm. I'm gonna guess this is gonna be up there as one of the rarest titles. I know there's a Minecraft Story Mode physically. I bet that will be rare. I think Minecraft Story Mode's been taken off of uh, some sites, so uh, definitely look into that. Dragon Ball Xenoverse Two. I bought it for Fighter Z, so I didn't touch it. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, I would assume it looks good on the Switch. I, I don't know why I bought that game. That, that was a dumb decision on my part. Uh, Dragon Ball, or Dragon, oh my god, oh, I'm going oh, to get so much hate for that. Dragon Quest Builders 2. I can't even fix a glare. Uh, from what I played, I know, like, I think this is a pretty fun game. I didn't think I was going to enjoy this, but this is actually a pretty fun game. I know it's not a main series Dragon Quest game. I don't think I'll ever play a main series Dragon Quest game. It's just I don't think that game series would be my thing. But Builders 2, uh, this is a fun game. Especially, I mean, I haven't played it with friends. But I would think it's going to be fun with friends. So, yeah. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. This is a really fun game. Uh, I think this is, looks beautiful on the switch i mean it was a beautiful wii u game especially if you played the super mario 3d world captain toad levels uh it's awesome but i don't think it's worth 40 dollars. i don't see this game going on sale ever so um if somehow you can get this game for 20 bucks i would say go ahead and buy it i think it's worth 20 but 40 no i beat the game in like two hours i think two or three hours so yeah, I mean, it's all, I guess, a preference. If if you like three hours games and want to pay $40, this game is perfect for you. <laughs> all right, final game. Street Fighter, Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final Challengers edition. They, they've ported this game like five or six, like There's eight different versions of Street Fighter 2. Uh, I didn't touch this because the, the Christmas before the Christmas of of uh yeah the, the first christmas that the switch came out this was a game i got for free because uh i picked a switch game for pre-owned and this is what they had so i was like oh, okay add it boom so i haven't touched it so uh i definitely need to touch some of these games i've touched most of these games i think like some of the ones i didn't say was like some of the ones i've said that you haven't played it's like mario uh Resident Evil. You don't. We need to end this video off. It's like 30 minutes probably. Um, all right, guys. If you guys are new here, hopefully you enjoyed this cringy video I made, because this was definitely up there as one of my cringiest. I would say. If you are new here, make sure to check out our channel. We're trying to upload every Tuesday, but now it looks like it's going to be Saturdays. <laughs> so maybe every Tuesday or Saturday. I don't know. Uh, we have a Discord server. I think I just said that, but check it out. We've been streaming sometimes every week. We used to go every day, but then Persona 5 happened, so now I'm not streaming every day. Uh, but we're close to 500 subscribers. I got a special video announcement planned for when we hit 500 subscribers. So if you're new here, please subscribe because we're about to hit 500, and I am so excited. Hopefully, we'll hit that 1,000 subscriber goal by the end of the year. All right, guys. It's been real. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.